My name is Stevie. The first 15 minutes, I found it a bit um, weird. But after that, I mean, when we're doing the demonstration, it was in a simulated living room, you know, and I was the resident and Stevie was coming out to me. And at first, you know, it was a bit funny watching this thing on the wheels coming out. But then after a couple of interactions, you know, it, it just seemed a bit more natural, you know, there's a bit of fun. That, that, that was a session for a few hours where we went through various things, like he would ask me if I need, took my medications, you know, like if I was going to bed, did I remember to turn lights out, you know. He would simulate making an emergency phone call on my behalf. I think Stevie 2 was a good development on the original because he seems to be more interactive. He's able to observe things around and can record visually. So it's like having a mobile CCTV, as well as the fact of his capabilities to assist in security. And the thing about it for someone who is living alone, on their own, would you say isolated, there is interaction there as well. And Stevie too seems to be developing AI a bit more, that he can sense what you're saying and reply to it spontaneously. For example, uh, if Stevie's in a situation that he can't handle on his own, say someone falls, it's an accident, um, Stevie can alert someone, like a care worker or something, who's at their computer, who's at home, anything like that, um, to put on like a virtual reality helmet and essentially become Stevie, like see through Stevie's eyes, control his arms and, and gestures and everything. So what that means is that uh, someone in a, like a high managerial position can easily take over and like be present, so to speak, at the scene through Stevie. The new robot is far more mobile. Uh, meaning that it's able to navigate you know, far, far, far more efficiently. Um, it's, it, it's a lot quieter, so one of the complaints we got from the first robot was that it made a lot of noise when it was moving around, so this one is, is, is much quieter. It's also a lot more energy efficient, so that it can, la it can last for probably four to five times longer than what the first one could. We've also got a lot more sensors on it, so you know, it's really important for a robot like this that it's able to perceive its surroundings, it's able to know when someone's in front of it, it's able to have those kind of conversations. So now we have the, the capacity to do that. And the applications we're interested in, you know, largely in the care industry where staffing is a, is, a, is a huge challenge. Uh, we think that it can help free up some of the, the, the time of existing workers uh, and also do things that maybe you know, under current budgeting restrictions are, aren't possible. My name is Stevie.